What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're actually going to be dropping off the kit for paint. So I need to take all this, oh, the bumper there, take off the front bumper again. And then we should be set to getting off to the paint shop. Hopefully it's not too expensive because paint does get pretty expensive. I did pay roughly uh, $300 for the rear wing, which is in the best too. But I was like, uh, whatever, you know, just uh, finish it, give it to me. I don't want you guys to deal with it anymore. I'm just gonna hope for the best that they, uh, well, I feel like this shop will do a really, really good job. There's a lot of good reviews about them. So hopefully, I don't, or hopefully the price is good. And I think when I come home, I'll put the SR bumper back on. So I'll just leave it like this for now. Still deciding on the color for my valve cover. It's chill in there. But we'll deal with that later. And all right, let's load this thing up. Oh man, still doesn't fit all the way. So how are we gonna do this? I know I'm paint too bright. Gonna put the seat down this whole damn time. All right, we are all loaded up. Ready to go to the paint shop. I'm gonna go downtown real quick, drop off some stuff, and then. Drop this off. So the kit has been dropped off at the paint shop. They said that it will be done roughly late Thursday or early Friday morning. So I could go pick it up and put the bumper on the car. But I did put the stock bumper back on. Just came back from a little drive. Uh, went to go get some bobo with my brother, which I left in my car. Everybody in the San Diego area probably know about bobo time. I got a Thai tea smoothie. Mmm. His mom, but I'm really, really dying for that bumper to come, or when it gets finished, so I can put it on the car. And I think I might be running the quick latch system. Maybe I don't know what that is. I will show you guys when I get it. You pretty much have a little button right here, uh, drill into your bumper. You push it so you can pull the bumper off whenever it's pretty much like a quick release bumper tab. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna run it yet, so we have to wait until I actually get it and decide. Because I already dropped the bumper off to paint, and I have to drill a hole into it. <laughs> when it comes back from paint. But on the good news, if you guys ever watch other YouTubers, uh, like TJ Hunt or something, they have these watches by Movement. So Movement actually reached out to me and sent me a watch and sunglasses. I'm grateful for that because I actually do wear watches. I normally wear my Apple watch, but I always bang it up whenever I work on my car and yeah, it just <laughs> gets a hard life. But yep, so we got the sunglasses in here, but let's open up the watch and show you guys. Holy crap, there we go. Uh, so, we got, wow, that is so nice. So this one's called the Desert. And if you guys know me, I like bronze or like khaki colors, um, especially on like watches and clothes. So I got a khaki colored watch by Movement. Really, really nice. Let's take it out. Wow. That is nice. Ooh, boy, I can't wait to use that. And I got some sunglasses here. I have no idea why I'm opening them on these TEs, but I, my, my toolbox is not clean. Damn, boy. So I actually got these so I could get them actually like prescripted. So I just, I'm pretty much just gonna use the frame and these lenses I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna get some prescripted uh, sunglasses. Since having these big ass glasses, I cannot wear sunglasses. I normally have to wear like my small one over it, but you can still see it. So I'd rather get these and get them prescripted. But if you guys want these watches or sunglasses, you can actually go on the site and use my discount code, Law Time Law 15, for $15 off your whole purchase. So check them out. They have really, really nice watches at an affordable price. And not gonna lie, I almost bought one a while back, but I didn't want to spend money. <laughs> so they hooked it up. Thank you very much, Movement. And yeah, but besides that and the dropping the kit off to paint, I had these, not the headlights, but the wheels. I had these in my garage for I think like almost like two weeks now or a week now and I have not opened them yet. So I'm gonna open it and show you guys what they are. I actually bought these as a spear I bought from my friend Lance because uh, my current spear, uh, here let me show you guys. This is my current full size spear. I like running a full size spear because it's better than steely of course and it's the actual size this is a 15 by i think six and a half 
but then the offset's really high so it will not clear my spoon calipers if I do end up like getting flat in the front. So yeah, these are cool, but I only have a single one of these SSR Type C's. I picked these up from Bill a while back to do with the fit. And those ones I bought over there, they're 15 by 7 plus 35 and they will clear the spoon calipers. I mean, it was cheap, so I couldn't complain and I guess I'll just let this uh, go to my brother having his car. Uh, these are cool. I wish I had a full set of these, but slightly wider. Um, but yeah, very, very classic wheel. So what I was talking about with sunglasses, like this is what I have to do. You see that? I have to stack it. So I'm going to get these with prescripted or my prescription on them instead of just doing this. And yeah, but look, check it out. This is called Six Eyed. Yeah, Six Eyed. All right, time to unbox these. <laughs> wheels, 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 wheels. You guys probably know what I bought. I mean, I already said it's T37s. But these are actually T37 Sonics. They're not, they don't look like these or the 15s over there. And uh, yeah, let's, let's crack it open. <sighs> what should I name the title of this video? I mean, technically I do have $5,000 worth of wheels in this car. I mean, in this garage. Hopefully no one gets mad, because I know a lot of people get triggered if I do that. But, we'll see. Alright. Wow. I feel like I just unboxed a set of these, like, not too long ago. Alright, you got the valve zip in here. You got the pamphlets that they always give you. And, we got the wheel itself. Ta-da! So these are the T37 Sonics, and they're in a, like a gunmetal color. Gloss gunmetal looks really, really nice. Uh, let me bring it down and show you guys real quick. So these ones, well on those and my other teeth, on the OGTEs, they use a sticker or a decal, or I don't know what, yeah. And it's all engraved on the outside. This one, all you have is the Made in Japan on the outside. But you guys look at here. On the side of the center board, you have an engraved Raze Engineering, and you got Forge right here. These are all engraved, same with the Volk Racing, if you listen. It's not a sticker, it is engraved. Really, really nice. And the spec is 15 by 735. They're not aggressive, but due to the concave faces, they will clear my spoon calipers as spears. So that's one reason why I bought them and I got them for extremely cheap so I couldn't pass up on the offer and those ones yeah I might just run a Toyo uh, 20550 R888 to compensate for the size because that's gonna be the same diameter so when I put this on the car won't be like lopsided or anything so I'm gonna run a 20550 on here and we should be good so it's pretty gonna be the same exact specs as the other T's over there well tire wise Damn, they look so nice. T37 gang. Hashtag T37 gang. You guys have these. Yeah, I bought another set of T's. Well, these, I bought these, actually, I bought these first before the 16s. And they've just been sitting in the garage and I have not opened them. But I finally opened them. And that's what I got. And I feel like, I wonder what color the valve is. I don't think it's, oh, it's, it's black. So, black valve stems instead of the anodized blue ones. Guys, you guys don't understand, like, T's is literally life. Dude, okay, I got, we got this one, we got my 16s, we got my 15s, my old 15s over here, and of course, you got my brother's 15s. We don't write anything else besides these. Well, just kidding, we had like spoons and all that stuff all back, but this is actually, on my car, this is my fourth set of tees I own, and I bought these, so this is my fifth. Actually, this is fourth, and this is fifth, so. Ah, <sighs> um, yep.